In the last book we read, Emma Kate, the characters were a girl and an elephant. In the book we will read today, the characters are a boy and a woolly mammoth. Give a thumbs up if you know what a woolly mammoth is. A woolly mammoth is extinct, so none are alive today. The title of this book is called, Can I Bring a Woolly to the Library, Miss Reader? Here is a woolly mammoth. What animal does he remind you of? Mammoths are a lot like elephants, but they are even bigger. Let's read to see the reasons the boy gives for why woolly should be able to come to the library. The boy, the boy and woolly are walking to the public library. Can I bring Wooly to the library, Miss Reader? Can I, please? Listen to the listen to how the boy sounds when he asks this question. Can I, please? Say his words with me. Can I, please? If I brought Wooly to the library, he could finally get a library card. He could practice writing with Mr. Penn. You know, the new library volunteer? Sometimes Wooly mixes up his letters, or makes them backwards. But with more practice, he could print his name on your library card application. And you could read it. With his library car card, Wooly'd charge into the kids' section and pick out a mammoth-sized stack of books to read. And he'd be so happy, he'd let loose a long, loud bellow. Maybe that would be a good time for Wooly and me to go over the library rules. No bellowing in the library. Thank you, the library staff. Can I bring Wooly to the library, Miss Reader? Can I, please? If I brought Wooly to the library and that thumping noise he makes when he walks, cause he weighs a ton, was too loud. Look at the children's faces. How are they feeling? I could buy Wooly a pair of extra large fuzzy slippers. That way he'd be as quiet as a butterfly landing on a buttercup. And maybe I could pick up slippers for those rowdy Bopsy twins too. Can I bring Wooly to the library, Miss Reader? Can I, please? No thumping in the library. Thank you, the library staff. If I brought Wooly to the library and the return books were piling up on your to-be-shelved cart, Wooly could shelve them for you. He knows his numbers and ABCs, and he could reach the tall shelves with no problem. Can you imagine if he got stuck between the shelves? We could get him unstuck, but what a mess. Maybe we should leave the shelving to you, Miss Reader, but Wooly could sit at your desk to check books in and out. Then things would be back to normal. Almost. Can I bring Wooly to the library, Miss Reader? Can I, please?
If I brought Wooly to the library, and Cuddly Teddy wasn't in the reading corner, because several of his seams had split open, probably from all the hugs he gets, and he was in the toy shop being repaired, Wooly could take his place. Wooly is very cuddly. Then the little kids would still have plenty of places to sit, and someone who'd listen to them read aloud. Wooly loves listening to little kids read. Miss Page in the Literacy Services says being read to will help Wooly with his reading, too. Can I bring a Wooly to the library, Miss Reader? Please? Can I? Can I, please? If I brought Wooly to the library on Halloween for your annual storybook character costume party, we'd be a hit. I'd go as the big bad wolf, and Wooly, Wooly'd go as Little Red Wo Wooly Hood. Who has heard of the story Little Red Riding Hood? Why is it funny that Wooly would dress up as Little Red Wooly Hood? Then you'd read us spooky stories. We'd all listen. Wooly, too. Bug-eyed, terrified, and frozen with fear. It'd be the coolest story hour ever. Can I bring Wooly to the library, Miss Reader? Can I, please? If I brought Wooly to the library and Mayor Pinchpenny came in with overdue books, which he usually does, and he complained loudly that he wasn't going to pay any fines because he'd renewed his books by phone last week, but he hadn't, Wooly'd flip Mayor Pinchpenny upside down and shake him, gently of course until enough coins had fallen from his pockets to pay his fine. Then Wooly would flip Mayor Pinchpenny right side up and continue reading his book. Can I bring Wooly to the library, Miss Reader? Can I, please? If I brought Wooly to the library and it was your turn to drive the bookmobile to Little Town, and you were worried about driving in the snow, Wooly could get you there safe and sound. Wooly grew up at the North Pole and doesn't worry about snow. But if you did slide into a snowbank, Wooly'd just hook his curvy tusks around the bookmobile's bumper and pull. You'd be back on the highway quick as a blink. And if you had to spend the night in the bookmobile, you'd get used to Wooly's snoring. Uh-oh, Miss Reader. My mom's worried that if Wooly came to stay with us, he would get homesick, like I did at camp last summer. Being so far from home at the North Pole, he would miss his parents a lot and the snowy, frozen weather, too. So Wooly won't be coming to the library, but he has a friend who will be visiting family around here. Wooly's friend loves to curl up with a good book. So, look at this teardrop on Wooly. Why is he crying? Are you wondering who Wooly's friend might be? Can I bring Saber to the library, Miss Reader? Can I, please? Oh no, what do you think is going to happen now? This boy sure likes to use his imagination. He thinks up a lot of things that he has never really seen or done. There are no limits when you make up things in your mind.
or imagine them. What are some clues that the boy is using his imagination? Thanks for reading along with me. Make sure that you use your imagination because there are no limits to what you can imagine.